With over 1,700 different skins and over 1,500 different pickaxes, it can be really hard to find the best items to use in Fortnite today. But in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you 26 Fortnite items you need to buy. These are going to be some of the sweatiest items in the game and some of the most underrated items that you guys have never heard of before. So make sure you guys watch all the way through and also let me know in the comments down below what item you are going to be buying next. Make sure to use code KAROYT in the Fortnite item shop, but let's just get straight into it, guys, and we're starting starting off with Caper. Now, this has actually been one of the best Fortnite skins in a really long time. I feel like the only problem with this, though, is that it is just one of a few different highly customizable skins that we now have in the game, and a lot of people do just prefer to use some of the other highly customizable skins that we do have in Fortnite. I feel like this has dropped off a lot over the last few seasons. I still really like the design of this, though. I think it could become a lot better in the future as well, but we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. I feel like Caper really allowed people to be creative with their skins though we saw people using a bunch of unique edit styles for them which was really clean but again i still feel like there are some better options out there i actually did end up seeing a few people using the voids eye pickaxe with the caper skins though this is a really underrated pickaxe you can actually get this pickaxe by buying the voidlands exile quest pack in chapter 5 season 1 this is actually one of the more underrated bundles that we have seen this season i feel like a lot of people ended up not buying this just because we have a few other bundles that are really, really clean that have been added to the store, and I feel like the Voidlands Exile bundle did sort of get overlooked. I'm a huge fan of this, so I feel like this skin does look really clean, and the pickaxe is definitely worth buying as well. It did set you back around $5, but honestly, I feel like it was so worth it. The design of this pickaxe is so, so sick. It is similar to a few other pickaxes that we have in the game, but it is just a lot newer, and just one of my personal favorite pickaxes as well. It might not be as good, though, as our next pickaxe and this is champion's blade the champion's blade is the latest addition to the fortnite fncs item shop cosmetics this is one of the cleanest looking fncs pickaxes we've seen in a really long time the fncs items that do get added to the game are really clean they only feature in the store for a few days and then they never feature in the store again and they are sort of season exclusive items as well basically what that means is that if you are watching fncs in chapter 5 season 1 they are going to feature in the store in chapter 5 season 1 and then they are never going to be seen again. I feel like the Champions Blade though is a really clean pickaxe and hopefully you guys did end up buying this when FNCS was on only a few days ago. Let's move on the guys to another really brand new item and this is the Mysterious Face. This is actually one of the newer skins in the game. I feel like this is a skin no one really expected to come to the game either but it has actually become one of the more tryhard skins over the last few weeks. What I love about this is that we don't really have too many other skins that actually look similar to this. It has such an amazing design. It has all of the features of a tryhard skin as well. And all it's really missing is the popularity. So hopefully by including it in this video and hopefully by talking about it more and more on the channel, we will only see this being more popular in the future. I don't know how often this is going to feature in the store though. I feel like because so many pro players and streamers have actually been using it, it will gain a lot of popularity, which is really exciting to see. And I honestly believe this could become one of the more popular and tryhard skins that we do have in the game. Fortnite could easily add in more edit styles for this as well. It is one of those skins where they can easily add in different color variants for this, and it will just make it one of the best skins in the game. Let's move on, the guys, to another pickaxe, and this is the Stellar Striker. The Stellar Striker is a personal favorite pickaxe. This actually came to the game with the Sunspot skin a few weeks ago, and I feel like this is one of the most slept on pickaxes we have seen in Chapter 5 Season 1. This really has the potential to be one of the best pickaxes of all time. What I really love about this is that there are two styles for this pickaxe, which is something that we don't really see too often with pickaxes in the game. Usually we get one style or maybe a second edit style that looks pretty much identical to the same style. But what is really cool about this is that both styles look so different. We obviously have a sun style, which is orange and does look really clean. And then we have a frozen edit style, which is white and covered in ice. And I feel like that looks so, so sick. Let's move on, the guys, to a bundle. And this is the last 
laugh bundle. This probably doesn't get talked about enough in Fortnite, but I am a huge fan of the Last Laugh bundle. It does actually set you back around $30, so it is one of the more expensive bundles on this list. So I do understand why we don't see that many people using it. But what is really clean about this is that you get a bunch of different skins, you get a bunch of different pickaxes as well. So I feel like it is definitely one of the best value for money bundles you can actually buy in Fortnite. You obviously get the Midas Rex skin, you get the Joker skin as well, and a Poison Ivy skin, which is so incredible. I think all of them are really clean, and the pickaxes do also look really clean as well. We obviously have the Joker's Revenge and the Bad Joke, which are the two best ones. There are some other pickaxes and other items in this, but those two are by far the best. If you guys don't want to spend that much money on a bundle though, then a skin that might just suit you guys better is going to be the Giant Chicken. This is actually a massive meme skin in Fortnite. I know this video might end up being some more tryhard skins in the game, but the Giant Chicken is just one of the biggest meme items we are ever going to see. This was actually leaked in the files for a really long time. I feel like I first saw it like three years ago. It was actually leaked with the Peter Griffin skin as well, but they never really came to the game until chapter five started. So I feel like a lot of people lost hope that this was actually going to be added and a lot of people never expected the giant chicken to be added to the game. Now that it is finally here though, I think it is so, so sick. It is one of the best meme skins we've seen in a really long time. So hopefully we do get some more Family Guy cosmetics added to the game in the future. I would also love to see some more items from the June collab, but Shani is by far one of the best skins in the game. It has actually started to gain a little bit of popularity over the last few weeks as well with a few pros and streamers using it. And it does seem like this is only going to feature in the store more and more often as we move throughout chapter 5. There is a second June movie that is coming out any day now, which is going to be so exciting. I feel like a lot of people are so excited to go and watch this movie, so it does make sense that Chani and of course the Paul Atreides skin reappear in the store. We might even get some new edit styles for this, or just some new skins from the June franchise added to the game, which would be really cool to see. But if you are looking for a tryhard skin from this collab, then Shani is going to be by far the best choice. We haven't really talked about a pickaxe for quite a while though, so let's move back to the candy axe. This is probably one of the most expensive pickaxes we're ever going to see, especially in terms of pickaxes that you can buy with V-Bucks. There are obviously some pickaxes that do cost like over a $1,000, but the candy axe is one of the most expensive, and I feel like that is why it has dropped off in popularity over the last few seasons. Even though this pickaxe is really clean, Fortnite just haven't added any new styles for this, and I feel like that is definitely holding it back. If they had have introduced the Merry Mint as an edit style for this, then I feel like it would have gained a lot more popularity and would definitely be one of the best pickaxes in Fortnite right now, but for the moment, it just isn't as good as it could be. This isn't the only pickaxe that suffers from this because I feel like the driver definitely suffers from a similar thing. This has been in the game since chapter one, season five. It is one of the best Fortnite pickaxes they have ever designed, but I feel like it just doesn't get any new styles and that is probably why it has started to drop off. If you are a tryhard player, chances are you already own this pickaxe. It only costs 500 V-Bucks, so it is a lot cheaper than the candy axe, but I just feel like because it hasn't been updated in a really long time, a lot of people are switching this out to use some of the newest pickaxes, and of course, some of the newer skins in the game as well. One of the best ones, though, would have to be Lana Lane. This is added to the game only a few weeks ago, and it is actually the Fortnite Crew skin for February. The Fortnite Crew bundle has had a major overhaul over the last few weeks, and it has honestly only made the Fortnite Crew bundle a lot better. Now, what they are doing instead of just adding one new skin to the game with one style is actually adding in one new skin to the game and adding in a brand new style for some of the older skins as well. I feel like this is a really good touch. For $10 a month, it is definitely worth it. You get a free skin, you get a free pickaxe, you get a battle pass for free and a thousand V-Bucks. So I think it is so worth it. Lana Lane is one of the best skins we have seen for the Fortnite Crew Bundle in a really long time as well and honestly I feel like this is just the beginning for some of the best Fortnite crew skins to be added over the next few months. Let's move on the guys to the number 15 position and we have the Icebreaker. The Icebreaker is a 500 V-Buck pickaxe and some 
somehow has worked very differently to the Candy Axe and the Driver Pickaxe. This is actually one of the oldest items in the game, first being added in Chapter 1, Season 1, and since it does cost 500 V-Bucks, it has somehow managed to stay popular and try hard pretty much since the beginning of Fortnite. Usually a lot of items like the Candy Axe and the Driver do start to drop off if Fortnite don't add any more styles for them. This definitely happened with those two pickaxes, but somehow the Icebreaker seems to become more and more popular the longer it's actually in the game. We haven't really seen too many other pickaxes work in the exact same way as this, so I cannot wait to see if this does become more tryhard in the future. That takes us to the number 14 position, and we have Splinter. This is actually one of the newer skins added to the game, and it was part of the Ninja Turtles collab. This is a really funny looking skin. I feel like this is probably going to be a bit more of a meme skin than some of the other items on this list as well. I don't know how tryhard or even how popular this is going to be in the future, but it's just such a funny skin, I thought we had to include it on the list. I think all of the Ninja Turtles collabs have been done really well this season. The pickaxe that came with this skin as well is really clean. So if you don't like this skin that much, then I feel like the pickaxe is definitely something that you can also use in Fortnite today. Both of these items are probably some of the better ones from the Ninja Turtles collab as well, but make sure to let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. Let's move on the guys and next up we have Siren. I feel like this just had to feature on a list like this because it is one skin that you absolutely need to buy today. What is so clean about Siren is that for 1,200 V-Bucks, you now get three different edit styles for this skin and they all look very, very different. It isn't like you're buying one skin with just one style that looks very similar to the default style, but now what Fortnite has done is introduced a default style. There is a cell shaded variant called the Noir Siren skin, which does look so sick. And then at the start of chapter five, we got a red racer style for this, which just improved this skin even more. It was already one of the most tryout skins in the game and they honestly just made it even better. Better. You can also make some really amazing combos with this, and one of the best pickaxes for this has to be the Scratcher. The Scratcher is actually part of the Chapter 5 Season 1 Battle Pass, and you can pick this up for 950 V-Bucks. Usually, we don't see a lot of cell shaded pickaxes work well with default Fortnite skins. I feel like a lot of these cell shaded pickaxes work really well with cell shaded skins, and default design Fortnite pickaxes work well with default design skins, but somehow the Scratcher works with pretty much every single skin in the game. It just has has such an amazing design. The colors look really, really clean, and it is going to fit in with most skins in your locker, and especially Siren as well. I love the way this looks, but we need to move on, guys. And next up, guys, we have the Polo Prodigy. This has actually made a huge resurgence over the last few weeks. This was a really cool skin when it first got added back during Chapter 3. No one really started using this, though, but now in Chapter 5, it has gained a lot of popularity. We have two different styles for this. We have a sort of white and black edit style with a few red highlights, which does look really clean but I feel like the predominantly black and red edit style has been a lot more popular and tryhard as well. It is really surprising to see this older skin becoming tryhard in Fortnite today. I thought this was always a really clean skin and since it never really got that popular when it first got added, I never thought this skin would be featuring on my channel again, but here we are today talking about it like three years later. I'm still a huge fan of this. I think it is such a clean skin, but unfortunately it just doesn't get added back to the store that often. Let's move on though to one of the most OG skins in the game and this is Aura. Aura is an 800 V-Bucks skin in Fortnite, and it is honestly one of the best skins you are ever going to buy. What is really clean about this is we now have three styles for this, pretty much identical to what we said with Siren, except this is just a little bit cheaper. I think my favorite thing about Aura though is that all three styles do look quite different. We do have a default style, we then have a sweater or a hooded edit style, and then a green and gold style, which is so sick. You can also buy some of the other expansion skins that we have for this, which do look really clean as well. We obviously have Championship Aura and Fresh Aura added to the game, and there are of course some other skins as well, but I feel like nothing actually beats the default Aura skin. Some people actually have said though that Aura doesn't have enough edit styles for them to buy though, so if you are looking for a skin with a bunch of different styles, then Glitch is going to be the best one for you. There are so many different styles for this skin now in the game, I honestly feel like it is one of the best highly customizable skins we are ever going to see, and it's going to be hard for a skin to be added to the game that is better than this. You can just customize this in so many different ways. Not only can you change around the colors of this, but you can also add in different accent colors to change around the metallic effect, and it doesn't stop here. You can actually use different wraps in your locker to customize the actual armor for this, which just makes 
makes it even better. I feel like there are over a million different styles for this skin that you guys can create, just depending on how many different wraps you have in your locker, which is really unique and something that not every other item actually does. There is one highly customizable skin though that definitely has been better than this, and that has to be the superhero skins. I feel like a lot of you knew this is going to feature on the list, but it is definitely one item that you need to buy today. These skins are actually some of the more expensive ones on the list though, coming in at 1,800 V-Bucks, but I feel like it is really worth it. What is good about these superhero skins is that you can customize these in some really unique ways, but more often than not, people end up using the default white or the black edit style for this. I feel like especially in chapter five though, we have actually started to see people creating unique edit styles of these, which is really sick. But regardless of what edit style you end up using, I feel like these skins are always going to be try hard. One big axe that we see a lot of people pairing with these superhero skins though has to be the Star Wand. This is just one of those pickaxes that you need to own in Fortnite. It is always going to work in Fortnite. I feel like it is always going to be considered a try hard pickaxe and that isn't going to change anytime soon. The only downside to the Star Wand is that we don't have any edit styles for this. I feel like it could honestly become similar to the Candy Axe in the future where it has just been so popular and try hard for such a long time and Fortnite doesn't give it any attention including new styles and for that reason it does just start to drop off. The Star Wand is a little bit different though because it has just been so popular and successful for such a long time. It is going to be really hard to find some items in Fortnite that are better than this. So as long as Fortnite do add in a new style for this in the future, I feel like it is always going to be one of the best pickaxes that you can actually buy. Let's move on guys. And next up we have the Birds of a Feather bundle. We actually got three skins as part of this bundle. We had the Sergeant Drake skin, which is my personal favorite. We also had Budge, which is definitely the most detailed one. And then of course, Tex Flamingo as well. Now, personally, if I'm picking which one I want to use, it would have to be either Sergeant Drake or of course, Budge. I just feel like these two are by far the best in the game. They do look really, really clean. And honestly, I don't know that we are ever going to get bigger meme skins added to Fortnite. This is by far one of the coolest bundles in the game though. I really like this. I feel like for so long, we had a lot of bundles with people not actually using these skins at all, but the birds are definitely different. I feel like people are going to love these, whether you are a tryhard player, a casual player, or just new to Fortnite, chances are you're going to like the way these skins look, and that is only going to make this better in the future. Hopefully Fortnite keeps this up and keeps introducing funny meme skins to the game because that is what Fortnite is going to thrive on, and I cannot wait to see what they come up with in the future. If you are looking for a bundle though that mostly compromises tryhard items, then one of the best ones to buy has to be the Agency Renegades bundle. Now this did actually include three different skins, but you only really want to use two from this and that is Shady Zadie and of course Spy Catcher Siren. Basically the Agency Renegades bundle remade two of the most popular and sweatiest skins we have ever seen and just made them even better. Siren is a really clean skin, but personally I feel like Spy Catcher Siren might just be a a little bit better. Both edit styles for this skin are so clean and Zadie is pretty much the exact same. The original style of Zadie is really sick, but we did actually get two styles for Shady Zadie and both of these honestly look better than the original Zadie skin. It is completely up to you guys. Obviously buying it in a bundle is going to make it more expensive. So this does set you back around $20, but this is definitely what I would be buying in chapter five. If you don't want to spend this much money on a bundle though, you could always end up buying something like the Harley Hitter instead. This is one of my favorite pickaxes in the game. I feel like it is so, so clean and it is sort of slept on as well. I feel like we don't really see that many pros or streamers using it, which is probably why I feel like not a lot of people are using it today, but I'm sure a lot of you guys are actually using it. So if you are, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Usually when a lot of pros and streamers start using pickaxes in the game, they do become quite tryhard very, very quickly. But I feel like a lot of pros and streamers have definitely stopped using the Harley Hitter just because it has been in the game for a while. We also have haven't had any new styles for this added. I feel like if they did actually add something like a red or a blue edit style for this, especially since we got Rebirth Harley Quinn added to the game, then it would make it a lot better, but they just haven't done this. And for that reason, it is starting to drop off. It is still one of my favorite pickaxes though, and definitely worth buying if you don't already have it, but you could always buy something like Reverie instead. Instead of spending V-Bucks on this, it only costs $5. This is the starter pack bundle for chapter five, season one though. So if you guys don't buy it in chapter five, season one, then you are never going to be able to buy it again. I feel like it is so worth buying though. It just looks so, so clean. It is by far one of the best 
best starter pack skins we have ever seen. So if you guys don't already have this, then I highly recommend buying it. It is only going to become more tryhard in the future as well, which is my favorite part about it. I feel like this could become one of the more tryhard skins, but we're just going to have to wait and see, especially as we get closer to chapter five, season two. Let's move on the guys to the number two position and we have the Leviathan Axe. This is one of the more expensive pickaxes in the game, which is kind of crazy to say because it is only a thousand V-Bucks. I feel like there are definitely some more expensive items in the game, but none of them really compared to the Leviathan Axe. This is only featured in the store once and it is one of the most popular pickaxes in the game today, which shows you guys how good this actually is. If it was added back to the store right now, it would easily become one of the more tryhard items we have ever seen. And it also wouldn't surprise me if this became the most popular pickaxe in the game almost overnight. I love the way this looks. It is going to fit in with every single skin in your locker and it does have a custom animation and it is reactive as well, just to make it that much cooler. It probably is the best item that you guys can buy in Fortnite right now. But if you want something even better then you need to buy the chapter five season one battle pass before it is gone forever. This is my number one pick for the best item to buy. For 950 V-Bucks, you get like eight different skins. You get a bunch of different pickaxes. You get some really amazing edit styles for those skins. And we just had super styles added to the game as well to make it even better. This might be one of the best battle passes we have seen in a really long time. All the skins are so, so clean. The secret skin, which was Solid Snake, also looks incredible. I think it is so, so sick. And who can go past Peter Griffin? I mean, we actually got Peter Griffin in the game, which is so sick. So that is definitely one item that I would buy if you don't already have it. But there you guys go. That is my video talking about 26 Fortnite items you need to buy. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below what item you are going to be buying today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.